My research looks at why some people tend to be more resilient than others. So resilience can be thought of as the ability to show better outcomes than what you would expect given the adversity that someone experienced. And adversity is some, something we un unfortunately experience a lot of the time. You've got those big impactful adverse events like the bushfires that we had. Um, but there's, there's also day-to-day -day adversities, like if you've become a parent or a carer for someone or you're going through a stressful time at work. And some people seem to be able to cope with those adversities better than others and show better outcomes compared to others. So my research looks at why that is. When I found out that I won the first prize, I was incredibly surprised because I, I think I was last in line to present and I had seen all of these other presenters and I was so impressed by the quality of their presentations and by the work they did. I really felt like these people are going to change the world through their research. And then to find out that I had won first prize, that was really you know, incredible because it showed that people in the public also really liked my presentation style and also the, probably the type of research that I did. With the prize money, I was able to run a study that I had kind of intended on running already. Um, I wanted to, but I didn't have the money to fund it. And so with this prize money, I was finally able to run the study and it consisted of um, running a large study in older adults who were facing the adversity of being, becoming more dependent because they had faced um, some issues with their health and so they became more dependent on at-home care. So obviously that's an adversity that they're going through and I was interested in finding out, um, given that adversity, who responded better to that kind of situation relative to others, so who showed more resilience than others. I think these events are important for early career re researchers for just a variety of reasons. One is, of course, if you are so lucky to win some prize money, it helps you conduct the research that you really want to pursue. And from what we've seen last year, there's so many very good ideas out there about the research. And so it helps people pursue those ideas. So that's one. But then even if you don't go home with a prize, there's so many benefits to this kind of event. There's mingling with other people in the faculty. I met several people there who are also interested in resilience but are interested in or have expertise in some of these other puzzle pieces that can contribute to resilience, for example genetics. And we ended up putting in grants together. And then also just the experience of having to talk about your research in a way that doesn't get bogged down in the detail about the experiments that you do, but talks about the excitement of that research area and the possible implications of that research area. That's very different to what we're used to or how we're used to talking about our research. And it was a really good exercise. I would like to thank the donors for making this event possible. So obviously the, um, the monetary prize that comes with this event is hugely beneficial in order to help people pursue their research, but then all the other associated benefits of an event like this, in terms of connecting with people um, in different research areas, connecting with people in the community, talking about your research in this really exciting way, uh, and that then being able to help your students um, talk about research in that way as well.